Hey guys, for public safety and official misconduct, back with you again for another video. Unfortunately, we have to do this one here. We are at the Louisville Division FBI building because, uh, well, because we need to be. What's the matter? Would their district attorney not see you? Hello everybody, Merry Christmas. Wrangler here. And in this little present for y'all today, Dumbwaiter and Tiff Tiff, or I'm sorry, Tiffalus, are going to go to the FBI in Louisville, Kentucky, because apparently they're tired of making so many friends in law enforcement at the state and local level. And they're going to get absolutely owned and shut down because why? Because the FBI, who actually knows a little something about the law, and what they can do and what they can't, and definitely know more about the Constitution than these two crackheads, uh, are not going to let them have their way. And it sucks for them. Enjoy. Hey, how you doing, buddy? Um, I need to speak with somebody in the FBI building about corruption. Huh? I'm out here in the public area. Why? I want to record this whole thing. Um. I'm going to record this. This is part of the problem. This is part of what I'm trying to report. Man, I'm not getting any help, and I'm trying to report corruption in the government. All right, sir. So what I'll have you do is get on that phone right there. It's in that little box right there. Uh-huh. So just open it up, and you can start talking, and you can get an agent on the Is it going to be an hour like the when you call from home? I'm not sure, sir. It's usually pretty quick. Pretty quick? Okay, we'll see. Yes, ma'am. Um, the security guard just told me to come to this phone to get assistance. Yes, ma'am. It's Chris. I don't want to give that because I keep getting shut down by these feds here. So I would like to speak with someone and then maybe you can find my name out and then shut me down. No means no. But I thought you were down with the FBI, man. You're telling us all the time that you're a registered informant, that the agents, they work for you. So why can't you get them to listen to you now? Uh, make sure I'm okay. Okay, well, I don't mind. I mean, I'm going to give it anyway because I'm going to do an official report. My name is Chris Ryder. I was born... I need to report government corruption, local. No, it's going to be KSP Post 4 and um, Meade County, Kentucky officials. They're actually working together in some corruption, like some stuff that I think you guys will want to investigate. Oh, board, dude. I got a wooden spoon, dude. See, let me explain why he thinks there's corruption or why he wants you all to think there's corruption. There isn't. What it is, is that they didn't take his shit. See, like most wife beaters, Chrissy here has a problem being told no. He doesn't understand no means no. And so whenever he doesn't get his way like a fat ass entitled toddler, I'm sorry, fat ass entitled toddler, what does he do? He goes and starts slandering people. He starts making up these stories. Oh, well, they must be corrupt because they wouldn't do this with me. If they're so corrupt, these people that you accuse of it, if Georgia Transparency accuse of it, how is it I get them to do interviews? Just something to think about. No, I live in Indiana, but I'm victim of the crime here in Kentucky. All right, thank you. What was your name? Oh, you can get my information, but I can't give yours? Yes, and by law, she doesn't have to give it to you. All right, do you have like a number that's associated with you or anything? You don't have anything? Okay. All right, thank you. Bye. So they demand all your information 
first. And then when you ask them to identify anything to associate their position, they say, no, we can't give none of that out. She asked me to go sit in my car and wait for a duty officer to come out and talk to us. So, wow, talk about intimidating, guys. You got a security guard that won't let you have your recording going. And I mean, we're out here in the, look, like, like right there, towards the, uh, like the kids' uh, bouncy center. There's a movie theater right there. Wow, that's special, Chris. Question is, why are you frauded in the FBI when you guys could be taking the kids to the bouncy house or to the movies? Like good parents. Oh, that's right, because you're not good parents. You don't have any kids, and Tiffany lost all custody of hers. You know, all in the same parking lot, so this is not like any kind of private secret. No, what it is is it's called federal property, which by definition makes it restricted. Not to mention, don't forget that when you're on federal property, it's an all parties consent state. Do you know what that means in terms of wiretapping? You're not allowed to record anybody on federal property without their consent. It's actually called felony wiretapping. Uh, restricted area, is it, Tiff? No. Oh, and not to mention, they shut their blinds. Like I went down to see what those other blinds were on their doors. Yeah. And even the gal. Why? Wow. I would too if there was a notorious multi-state woman abuser trying to look through my window with a damn camera. Well, when I get into reporting things that they might investigate, I won't, I won't, uh, I'll part my ways. But that's, um, that's just the, how they do it. Well, here, we can so. talk to the investigator. I mean, yeah, let's go do that. All right. Yeah, like I said, I want to do it in a place where I can keep my phone going. Thank you. I think they'll understand as soon as they get my report. In, inside the tracks, sir, uh, the recording can't continue. Okay, Once well, step foot the window, sir. can you just have them come out here then? I can ask them. If you won't mind. Uh, I'll wait out here. Or at least ask them if we can set it up so that one of us can uh, maintain our recording. Okay. You're a bitch! Well, so what is it? Is it about reporting an actual crime? Or is it about you getting clickbait? so that you can make as much money as you can before you both go to prison. I'll, I'll even cover like the lens or something walking through yeah, or something if they want. There's no inside there. It can't, we can't do it, but outside here, it's a possibility. But okay. like I said, I don't know if the agent will come out here. Well, let them know that the, I'm really nervous to set the phone off. Okay. You're a bitch. You think they'll uh, acknowledge the issues through the phone, through the call-in system? Like to bring it to their attention. I just want to refrain from comment. One of the reasons we've come here in person. Okay, the uh, only thing was he was saying that I can't have my recording device once I go in. So I think that's the only hiccup is. We don't want to do this without the record. Well, per federal law, there will be a record of it. It just won't be going on your effing YouTube channel so that you can make money off of an FBI investigation that you're trying to initiate. So which is more important, you making money or doing the right thing? We have no problem going through all of your screen in process. Absolutely. I just want to be able to record, buddy. That's all. Yeah, that's, that's not going to happen. And actually, you can't record here either go over to the sidewalk out there by the road and record, but you're actually on federal property now. So if you record, we have the right to confiscate the item. Well, Chris, tell them you're a journalist and then tell them you're an expert in federal law. I'm just here for your help. I'm here to report uh, public corrupt, well, actually corruption and maybe a whole lot more in KRS violations on, on two different agencies. Yeah, sorry. The Federal Bureau of Investigation does not in freaking investigate Kentucky state law violations, you moron. You really need to check the 10th and 14th Amendments. And I will be glad to talk to you, but that recorder is turned off. Just go. Huh? Do it without the recording? Uh, all right. Well, I'll agree to it. Hopefully, nothing goes wrong. Is that a threat, or what, what are you trying to say here? Well, 
What the fuck? Boom. Roasted. Say that. What are you talking about? Why would we threaten you? Who are you? Yeah, hopefully nothing goes wrong. I, I don't understand. Right, yeah, because... I'm talking about with my safety. Do you think that it's okay to only worry about your own safety and us public not be worried about ours? You're a bitch. I'm here to report corruption of police officers and I'm the victim. Yes, I hope nothing goes wrong. I was manhandled. Oh my God, you're coming for my... Tiffalus, are you referring to the police officer that arrested you? that you both assaulted? Officer, you're gonna do it my way. You're gonna turn your stuff off and you'll come in through the metal detectors. The yeah. fuck I am. You just lost all my trust. You know what? I got a CRF for you now. What's your name? The word Dilligan. That's spelled D-I-L-L-I-G-A-M. Dilligan. And it means, do I look like I give a fuck? Yeah, that's not happening, buddy. Oh yeah, it's happening, buddy. What's your name? So go ahead and uh, step off our property if you're going to record or I'm going to come take the device. You can come on out here and come meet me. Come say hi. Come on, Tiff, right here. Stop it! Cut it out! I have a glandular problem. So, alright, so you wonder why Kentucky's in such bad shape, right? That might be the answer. That might be why. Right there. That might be the reason why. If the feds are going to act like that when the public comes here and trusts to them. Hey, Chrissy, why are your eyes so bloodshot and why are her pupils so constricted? Y'all wouldn't be hung over and strung out, would you? Think it's really safe to operate a motor vehicle across state lines that way? Then what do you expect? Uh, the band is practically threatening me just now. Over what? Because I said I was not comfortable not recording it for my own safety? How many times have you heard officer safety, but as soon as one of us in the public are concerned with our safety because of officers threatening the safety of our... I know guys on crack that makes more sense than you. <clears throat> All right, so I'll tell you what I'm going to do. I'm going to make a report on paper, and I'm going to send it in, and I'm going to contact Washington, D.C., and I'm going to definitely tell them about this experience, and uh, maybe we'll do more about this um uh, in another video not that i had any doubt but so you admit it that your entire trip all of this bullshit is for clickbait board buddy that's all yeah that's, that's not gonna happen and actually you can't record here either you can go over to the sidewalk out there by the road and record but you're actually on federal property now so if you record we have the right to confiscate the item come in for my help so you're going to do it my way you're going to turn your stuff off and you'll come in through the metal detectors the fuck i am but you forgot to tell him how much you know about the constitution chris did it ever occur to you that you were going to play f around and find out with a federal law enforcement agency by the way they only enforce federal laws that 60 plus percent of their online agents not only possess a juris doctorate but they possess a bar membership card in one of the states, if not multiple. Are you, were you aware of this fact? Meaning, they already know more about the law than you could ever hope to. You just lost all my trust. Step off our property if you're going to record or I'm going to come take the device. A lot going on there. A lot of corruption that is definitely getting exposed, whether this federal agency likes it or not. Um, there is federal investigation going on here. Hey, this is for y'all. Bye. What happened, Chrissy? I thought you were like pals with the FBI and shit. What happened? Or were you lying? Yeah, that's what I thought, you know. Of course, you've always lied about everything. Your record, your business, your jobs, your being a wife beater. You've lied about everything. So you've never come clean. In fact, you compound your lies with more lies. You say that the women you beat up were guys when, you know, we have things like this. Where you, Chris Ryder, beat a woman in front of her five-year-old child. You took a gun, put it to her head, threatened to unalive her and yourself. Next time, stick with just yourself. The world will be a better place. Anyway, guys, it's Wrangler. I'm out of here. Y'all have a good one. Merry Christmas. Chris, we ain't even got started yet.